Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to episode five of Submit Your Right Challenge. I want to say thank you to every single one of you guys that have taken part of this episode. This one in particular, I think is my favorite episode. All of the cards that are in this video, I absolutely love them. As a matter of fact, I personally reached out to the owners and I told them about what I was doing and I asked them to submit their trucks. These are by far the most popular trucks of Instagram. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. And if you do, let me know with a big like. And if it is your first time passing by the channel, remember to subscribe. Let's go. All right, what's going on, fellas? Doing a uh, quick walk around here in the shop. Um, got my buddy Chad Rackley here working on his OG Paint 79 Bonanza. Um, Chad, tell us about this thing. Busy. <laughs> All right, so 6.0, 4L80. Um, so we put that motor and trans in last week using some Tejas uh, engine mounts, transmission mount. Uh, really nice truck. Um, all new interior, it's just a, a jam up piece. Um, here we've got an 81 K10 that we've got a 6.0 and a 4L80 going in. Kind of new to the four wheel drive thing. Um, transfer case will be a bit of a learning curve for us, but we'll figure it out. Really clean truck, slick paint. Um, I'm more of a patina guy at heart, but man, I can appreciate some slick paint as well. On to a few of my rides here. Um, Here's my 73, uh, mostly original paint, um, Cheyenne, uh, dubbed Harlan. Um, crimson red, still got the factory uh, charcoal cloth seat. Got a couple of tears in it, but still a pretty decent survivor truck. Um, this is my, my driver here. Um, <clears throat> here I've got my 71 Super, uh, ochre and white supposed to be a real super uh, this day and time who knows um it's my fiance's favorite so i'll uh i'll probably keep that one for a little while um in the back <clears throat> got my 70 suburban uh came out of san jose california it is uh, mostly original paint uh, medium gold it's had some kind of wild interior put in it but uh got the the famous arm mark here uh patina you know um, got the old original door panels. Nothing, uh, nothing too fancy. Just a cool old truck, man. We have a lot of fun in this. Pile all your buddies in, and, and we have a blast. Um, and here on to my current project, still project form, uh, is my '67 truck, mostly original paint here as well. Um, suspension is uh, Porter built. Um, version five drop members. It's got a set of race line, 22 inch billet wheels, uh, Willwood six piston brakes. And then, you know, still project form here as well. I got a 604L80. It's got a little vengeance cam. Um, Circle D converter. I haven't finished up my air conditioning in it yet. So, excuse me, guys. Again, still project form. Went through most of the interior does have an original set of buddy buckets that have been recovered just a new piece of carpet original door panels still kind of patina to go with the, the look of the truck here uh just a pretty pretty cool survivor truck um kind of hated to take it apart when i started but it's it's been worth it so far the back is still very much unfinished um it is the porter built four link so that's adjustable. Um, AccuAir, E-Level, Boyd's Tank. It's coming together. It's been about a year and a half in the making. So one of these days, maybe it'll be done. Um, well, guys, thanks for taking a look into my shop, and I'll catch you guys later. See you. Hey, everybody. My name is Brendan. This is my 66 C10. Originally, this is a Texas truck, and I purchased it back in November. It's mostly stock, and... Since then, I've been doing a lot of work just in the last six months alone. I got a lot more done than I actually planned on. The truck is sitting on airlift dominator bags with a drop and block front cross member kit with CPP spindles and disc conversion in the front. The rear is a step notch 
with a four link, all custom fabricated by Hager Fab out in New Jersey. Eventually I'm going to do, probably this month, frame out the bed and do a raised floor as well with a center section on a hinge to showcase the fab work. It's got 15 inch Krager smoothie wheels with caps and three inch wide diamond back white wall tires. I believe the truck originally came from factory with a 283 V8, but it now has a 350 small block with power glide trans. As far as the interior goes, I have a forever sharp steering wheel and a triple gauge. It's got the vintage heat and AC. It's got the airlift 3P management for the suspension. I have kicker KS speakers on the kick panels and two four and a half inch center KS kicker spear speakers in the dash and then I have a four channel Bluetooth amp JBL for the speakers with a eight inch sub enclosure. Eventually I'm adding carpet in there and getting a Snowden seat. A couple other things. This is the engine bay. Just a standard 350 small block, nothing crazy to it. In the coming weeks, I plan on doing a Wilwood brake master, dual master, with a new steering column. Painting the intake manifold semi-gloss black to match the cross member kit. And doing semi-gloss black, new rocket, uh, two, new ram horn manifolds and a chrome radiator hose as well. Clean up the engine bay a little more. So eventually this will get a LS as well, boosted with a 4L ADE, make a little more extra power. That's it, be sure to follow my Instagram. I post plenty of photos and progress photos as well. Anything I plan on doing in the truck in the future. And thanks a lot. This is Phil Can, better known as Four Door Phil on Instagram. My 1968 Chevrolet C10, 50th anniversary, short wide bed pickup. Um, I got it four years ago out of Mississippi, totally stock. Um, I've done a lot of work to it myself along the way uh, with the great help of my friends. Couldn't have done it without them. Um, it's got an LQ4 iron block LS with a 4L80 E transmission, two piece drive shaft, 12 bolt rear end, 373 gears, Eaton True Track differential. Um, I raised the bed using a brace that mounts to the frame, uh, pancake the wheel tubs, that's for where the gas goes. It's a 19 gallon aluminum fuel cell by Boyd Welding, in tank EFI pump. Wheels are 15 by 6 and 15 by 10 chrome steelies, wheel boutiques, diamondback white wall tires. Um, the whole frame is portabilt. Uh, control arms, a cross member, the trailing arms, transmission mount, you name it. Uh, just the stock frame rails. Other than that, it's all been powder coated and sandblasted. Show you the motor here. For all intents and purposes, it's stock. It's got an LS6 intake on it, LS6 injectors, uh, small block valve covers, F body accessories. Now uh, you can see the Willwood brakes, um, manual master cylinder there, um, custom bulkhead to cover the painless wiring on the chassis, rack and pinion steering, power, uh, Griffin triple core aluminum radiator, um, shave the firewall. That was all rotted when I got it, so that had to be changed out. Um, interior has all been redone. Brand new leather by my friend Weston, Counterbalance Cycles, based out of Providence, Rhode Island. At Counterbalance Cycles is his Instagram. Dash pad, bench, refoamed, custom console to house the airlift controller. That all my management is behind the seat. Custom top plate with my logo on it. Um, it's not quite a show truck, but it's not a beater, so it's fun though. Thanks for checking it out. Hey, generation old school fans. This is uh, 183 Hampton, and this is my 1978 Chevy Cheyenne named Charlie Brown. Uh, has a LS1 with a 4L60E transmission, full porter built suspension, 24 inch dub wheels with 62 Impala hubcaps, has custom leather bench seat, ACC custom carpets, 
center console I made, Chevelle steering wheel, Dakota digital gauges, classic audio sound, Bluetooth radio, and working on interior panels. It's, uh, it's got a porter built bed floor raise kit. Uh, Chevy 12 bolt rear end. Dakota or uh, Boyd welding fuel tank. Original paint truck. We got a couple bumps and bangs, but yeah, we all grow to love them. Shout out to XXL250 for hooking me up with this thing as a roller truck. Uh, obviously, C10 Club, Wolf Designs, Max Built Auto Works, KP Fab and Tune. We're printing a tune in this thing. Sweet. She runs good. Put some good power down to the to the rear tires. guys i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did editing it if you did please let me know with a big like and if it is your first time passing by the channel go ahead and subscribe if you want to be part of the submit your ride episodes please film your truck email it to us at generation underscore old school at hotmail.com tell us a little bit about it and i'll put you guys on the next episode with that being said i'll see you guys happy cruising bye